Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at 2020 and the color uh, settings that it does provide for us, both the background and the text colors that you can see. Uh, this is implemented throughout the theme as you see it, and even as you go to, to view the different works of the pages, you will see that this color uh, theme actually goes throughout the whole site. How can we do this for our own sites as a brand? So today I'm going to be just going to do a couple of things in, uh, in Gutenberg. I think it was uh, it is a project that is fairly done well for designers. And what do I mean? As a developer, I've come across a number of businesses that do have a particular brand guide. Uh, for, for example, you have to stick to a particular font or colors um, in order to suit the logo design, the, the stationery they do have. And that is also well complemented by having a website that actually stands out with those particular colors. So today I want to show you how you can make your color palette available in Gutenberg. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that uh, in here we have 2020, which is uh, our current theme. So our 2019 theme setup already has a function for us that we're going to use. So it already checks if the function exists and then it throws it into this hook, which is after theme setup. So what I'm going to do is actually just work from this function and then uh, we're going to add our color palette. So what we need to actually add is that we want to add a theme, add theme support. And that's the function of WordPress that we want to tap into. Inside this theme support, it accepts uh, two arguments that are a starter. So one, we want to tap the editor color palette and let's come to, we seem to have an error here because we have a comma there. And if I save this and come back here and then reload this page, uh, when we come to our different blocks and just click, you'll see now we have one blue color that is actually locked up. So we can change either have a background, which is blue, and we have this here. Or we can decide to have the text color as blue for all our content. So that's how you change the, the, the color palette. So we're going to just complete this and add all the other colors. So we'll add one and we'll call this, uh, we'll have this called darker blue, then we'll have dark blue, and dark blue is just a 20029FA, and then we'll just have another color, this time it will be a purple, and the purple is an 8D07F6, and we'll call this purple, Uh, we can decide to call it either royal purple or a light purple, whatever it is that makes sense from our brand guide that we're following. So from purple, we also have a yellow and the yellow is a quadruple F05. And then finally, we have a gray in there to complete the palette. So I'll call this a gray. I'll just complete our slug properly by adding it in lowercase and adding a dash to the end of it. So when we save this, come back here and reload. And when we click on any of the blocks, we'll actually come and see that we have our color palette here. That's the same. Uh, I didn't change the light gray, so I left it like that. So we have a D4 D858. Uh, 5 f5 there so if I reload this one more time and go to any of the blocks go to the color settings you'll see that we have now an array of uh, of of things working with our blocks so of course we have our color picker here shouting at us and we can see that we can actually have this in our different blocks and we can style them in any way that we want. Color palette, we can give this yellow background, dark blue, and we're working within our color scheme. So we can be able to have design 
work very well inside of Gutenberg itself by just changing the color palette. So if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, try this out, let me know in the comments how you found it and how you're adjusting to Gutenberg as the editor and how it's helping you reach your design goals for your website. Or like this video or subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos that do come out. Thank you for watching and happy coding!